Alright, welcome back to Pac Manufactured, a series all about Pac Man clones. In this episode, we're taking a look at Paku Paku, developed for the internet browser by ABA Games and released in 2023. Now, this recently went viral. It was featured on things like Ars Technica and Hacker News and Boing Boing. And it's a strangely sort of minimalist take on Pac Man. It basically removes the mazes completely and just basically places you in the single corridor with the only movement now being left and right and you do that by just simply clicking on the screen you don't have to use the keyboard at all to move left and right you just click to change directions and yeah so you're, you're on this single corridor there's one ghost one power pellet and a load of pellets to eat once you've cleared them all in the corridor it spawns another wave of pellets and yeah you basically just go as long as you can it's quite transformative actually by by bringing it back to its base elements like this and not having to you know move around a maze in four directions it's it's incredibly speedy and arcadey very very easy to pick up and play this and have a little bit of and have a decent time with it's strange how it's clearly supposed to be a pac-man game but by drawing the elements back so heavily it just it just transforms it into a whole different experience it's more of a chasing game now you know it's either you're on the attack or you're in retreat it's it's very very well done actually i'm quite impressed by how much fun this can be with such a limited move set and such a limited place to explore yeah it's 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 really good honestly like it's definitely worth checking out i would highly recommend it i'll link it in the description so you can go and check this one out but it is a very different game. I will say it doesn't feel very much like Pac-Man anymore. It has a different goal and a different sort of energy to it. It's a lot more faster paced. And as a result, I don't know if it really gives me what I want from Pac-Man. The enjoyment of a Pac-Man game for me is, you know, exploring a maze and finding the best options to use the power pellet so that you can eat all of the ghosts in succession and get the best score. There's more tactics involved by, you know, seeing the entire maze on screen and planning your route through it so that you can maximize using the power pellets but also avoiding the ghosts when you're when you're not powered up there's there's a lot more strategy to it it's it's a little bit more interesting to play as a result this is very very basic it's extremely fun for a very short amount of time and makes for a great time waster but it won't hold your attention as long as pac-man does i think pac-man has endeared for so long because it's so engaging you know, even though it's such a simple concept and very easy to pick up and play in, and you can simply play it with one hand, there is more depth to it because it has that, you know, scoring mechanic with the power pills and, you know, eating all four ghosts while you're powered up gives you the best bonus. But also there's the whole maze to explore and when you're when you're in retreat, there's a, there's a whole tactical way to play the game in that you're trying to avoid the ghosts while also collecting all the pellets to clear the stage. Yeah, it's... There's a lot more to it. This is a lot more basic, and as a result, I enjoy it for a short amount of time, but it won't endear in the same way that Pac-Man does, unfortunately, just because there's not as much to it. So I would recommend it. I would definitely say go and check this out because it is quite unique, and it definitely transforms the whole Pac-Man experience to something that's a lot more frenetic and a lot more fast-paced and easy to pick up and play. But at the same time, I think if you like Pac-Man, you're going to be missing an awful lot of the fun of Pac-Man by having those big mazes to explore and, you know, strategically move around in and use the power pellets in the best way to, to eat all four ghosts. It, does, it just doesn't have that sort of experience anymore. It's a much more different game now. But still one worth playing. It's just be prepared for an experience that is wholly different from Pac-Man, but not a bad one by any stretch of the imagination.